Welcome back everyone to our channel. Okay, let's just dive right in because the world of AI just got shaken by what might be one of the boldest claims in tech history. A startup is saying they've actually done it. They've built what so many thought was still decades away, true artificial general intelligence. I mean, wow, that is a huge statement. It comes from Jad Tarafi, who's an ex-Google AI veteran and the founder of a Tokyo-based company called Integral AI. And listen, He's not just hinting at some cool new tech. He is flat out declaring a fundamental shift for all of humanity. So what are they really claiming here? They're calling their system AGI capable. And let's be super clear about that word, capable. This isn't some hypothetical. They're saying their AI can already learn any task a human can. It can reason the way we do. And ultimately, it can outperform us in, well, everything. Now, look, we've all heard a ton of hype before, right? So what makes this any different? Why is everybody, from AI researchers to, believe it or not, theologians, suddenly paying attention? Well, it all starts with how they decided to define the finish line. See, instead of just making some vague claim like, hey, our AI is smart like a person, Integral AI did something way more concrete. They laid out a really specific three-part test, three benchmarks their system had to pass before they would even dare to call it AGI. Okay, so here are the three big ones. First, it had to learn totally on its own, no handholding. Second, it had to learn safely, without any catastrophic meltdowns. But the third one, this one is the real game changer. It had to be as energy efficient as a human brain. Think about that. That's a direct shot at the current model of building these giant power guzzling data centers. They're saying real intelligence has to be sustainable. And to hit goals that ambitious, you can't just build a bigger, badder version of what we already have. No, you need a totally new foundation, a completely new architecture. And that is exactly what Integral AI says they've built. So here's the key difference, right? Today's models, like GPT, are basically incredible mimics. They're like super autocomplete, predicting the next word based on patterns. But Integral AI's model is designed to actually understand the world, not just parrot text about it. It builds an internal concept of reality, which lets it reason, plan, and then act on those plans, a process that's much, much closer to how our own brains work. And their roadmap to scale this up is this three-step process. First, you've got universal simulators to build that rich model of the world. Then, universal operators give the AI the ability to act on that understanding. And finally, their Genesis platform is where these AGI agents can live, learn, and operate. It's the blueprint for going from just knowing to actually doing. But this, this is where their vision gets really unique. It's not just about the tech, it's about the philosophy. They've tied their entire mission to this idea of an alignment economy. So for them, the ultimate goal of their AGI isn't about making money, it's about expanding human freedom and our ability to make choices. This completely reframes the whole AI alignment debate, doesn't it? It's not just about putting guardrails on the AI to stop it from going rogue. They see alignment as the core purpose, to expand human potential. Which brings up a massive question. If AGI is really this profound, can we possibly treat it as just another tech product? And the answer, of course, is a resounding no. Something this big is never just a technical problem. As this news is breaking, the conversation is exploding way beyond Silicon Valley, and it's reaching some of the oldest institutions in the world. Get this. In a pretty fascinating move, a group of researchers is actually petitioning the Vatican to launch a formal scientific consultation on AGI. Their whole argument is that a technology this transformative can't be left in the hands of a few tech companies. So why the Vatican? Well, with 1.4 billion followers and diplomatic ties all over the planet, it holds a kind of unique moral authority that cuts across politics. And the current pope, Leo XIV, is apparently pretty tech-savvy and has already made AI a key focus. The real hope here is that the Vatican could serve as a neutral bridge between the U.S. and China, who are, you know, the two big players in AI development. The idea is to steer the global conversation towards ethics and human dignity, and away from just a flat-out technological arms race. Okay, so meanwhile, back in the tech world, one of the biggest names in the game is saying something that sounds, well, awfully familiar. Demis Sassabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, just predicted that AGI could be here by 2030, and he said the key to getting there is creating world models. Wait a second, let's just pause on that. A world model that understands reality? 
Does that sound familiar? That is the precise architecture that Integral AI is claiming they've already built. This is amazing. It shows how the entire cutting edge of AI research is all pointing to the exact same core idea. So let's just recap for a second. You've got a startup in Tokyo claiming AGI is done. You've got Google DeepMind, one of the top labs on the planet, saying it's right around the corner, and that the path forward is the exact one Integral AI says they've already walked. And you've got the world's oldest moral institution being asked to step in and guide the whole thing. What all this really tells us is that AGI has officially left the pages of science fiction. It's not some abstract debate for the future anymore. The early versions are here, the serious ethical discussions have started, and the world is now scrambling to figure out what happens next. Which really brings us to the final, and let's be honest, the most important question of all. As we stand here, right on the edge of this completely new era, who is actually in control? If you enjoyed the video, then drop like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe Next Lith AI.